Good morning guys, how are you guys doing today? It's Jaylee, I'm bringing you guys a new video. So it finally happened, I would say the thing that almost everybody was waiting for, E3 and the Sony conference to see what Destiny 2 is gonna bring. Now I was a bit surprised with how small of a space basically Destiny 2 got on the Sony conference. I would expect them maybe to have the developer come out and talk about the game and show us another subclass that like they were saying. So I would expect a bit more of Destiny 2 in the conference. But also the Sony conference had a different style this year. Like there was not really any developers that came out and talked about games uh basically the conference was game after games after games uh showing us trailers of different games and in one space basically they put in destiny 2 so it was a pretty short i will say a pretty short trailer uh there was not really i will say information that they gave us on the conference uh, especially in the sony conference it was just straight to the point that destiny 2 is gonna come out for people that they didn't know they showed girl uh i would say better they kind of gave uh say the villain personality away like i would say that this kind of reminds me of the Taking King when Oryx came out. Uh, this um, basically he speaks and, and he kind of shows like what type of villain he's gonna be. Um, I was a bit surprised about the appearance of him. Like when you saw uh, and I was saying past trailers, I kind of ha had a feeling that he's gonna have a, a black or gray armor. But I was surprised that when he came out here like an old white armor, he kind of looked like he was wearing one of the shaders from the Vault of Glass, the Cheddar White. Like that kind of that's exactly how he looked. So I would say that as far as appearance goes, it was a bit surprising the way that he looked. So besides that, there was not really much information that they show in the conference uh after they show girl they kind of move into showing exclusivities for the ps4 like we all know uh, the ps4 is gonna get a strike a map uh, exotic so if you play destiny 1 you kind of used to this you know the ps4 always get that now if you're someone that wants to experience 100 percent of the game and you want to experience uh, all the content that's available i will say that obviously the ps4 is the way to go over the xbox or the pc but after that there was no new information we kind of all knew about the release day of being september the 6th so that was nothing new so i was a bit surprised in a way honestly that they didn't give destiny 2 i would say a bigger spot and also that they didn't kind of show the game as much but moving on to a bungee post that they did on their website and that kind of gave us all the information that i would say that we all needed and that is the Veda days so on july 18 the ps4 is gonna get the Veda. that's obviously if you pre-order the game if you got an access code then you can play the Veda on july 18 then on july 19 uh xbox player is gonna be able to access the Veda. So you only have to wait one day, which I think is honestly fair. I think making Xbox players wait like a, a week and the fact that they pre-ordered the game as well, that'll be a bit unfair. So a day, I don't think that really is much. And I guess that gives somewhat exclusivity to the PS4. So after that, on July 21, there's going to be an open beta for the PS4 and the Xbox One. So this means that you don't need to pre-order the game. You don't need an access code. You're just going to be able to basically download the beta and play it. And that is honestly pretty cool. I will say the dates are not really that long of a wait but it's also a bit of bad news in the same time because then on july 23 the console beta basically ends now i again i like the fact that the open beta is kind of close to even what the ps4 player is gonna have like it's only two day difference but the fact that the beta is only gonna be five days that's kind of short i expect them to have maybe at least two weeks of uh, open beta or I'm no, I'm sorry. Uh, two weeks of a beta and one week of open beta. So the fact that it's only gonna be basically two days, and even if you pre-order the PS4, that's gonna be uh, only gonna be basically five days. So I would say that the wait is kind of short, but hopefully it's fun. And probably the wait is gonna be the thing that shows like whether Destiny 2 is gonna go in the right way or not. Like I know a lot of people are probably gonna be saying that the wait is just the wait, and that doesn't mean that's gonna be the full game. But if you go by what Bungie usually shows, they kind of show a lot of the game and betas like they are pretty open to showing a big parts of the game as far as the crucible and as far as the strike more than likely they're gonna have an open space so honestly it's gonna be fun testing the game and, and hopefully the game is as fun as it looks on trailers now for the pc beta they say in late august so they don't give us a date but i would say it's also not that bad because that was some information that was saying like the beta and even the pc release is gonna be like um maybe eight months and that is actually bringing into the next thing and that is the launch date like i said already september the 6th is a, like a known date already for the ps4 and the xbox one but what i was surprising about and this probably is the biggest news is the fact that the pc version is going to come out on october 24 so i would say that this is not that far away from what a lot of people were saying that pc players are going to be having to wait eight months or six months and then the game is going to come out so at that point i would say things like raids are going to still be brand new and there's still going to be a lot of things that obviously you can explore and that's 
I think that is great, honestly, because I'll say that having a wait of like six months that will probably kill the PC version of the game. So yeah, I'm excited about like I said again the beta and the release of the PC version as well. This is probably all the information that we needed that we wanted as the beta and the release date. Then besides what they're gonna show, and I would say in conference, it's probably gonna be like how the game was developed and things like that. Like I don't really see nothing new or exciting coming out on E3 for Destiny 2 at least. I think that they kind of show almost everything about the game on the live stream that they did. So I think that right now all we needed was the dates and the fact that they gave us dates for even the PC release. That's honestly great. So now it's just wait and hopefully the game is as great as they shown. So I'm gonna leave you guys with the trailer. I'm gonna put it from the beginning. Obviously this time I'm not gonna be interrupting in the back. And hopefully you guys enjoy it and take care guys. Peace. Light.